Hello army, it's your boy Omar SMS. We are back with another Apex Legends guide video. And in this video, I just want to mention that you guys are really amazing. And thank you a lot that we're so close to hit the 9k subs. I, I see that you guys are loving the guide videos that I'm posting on my channel. So I wanted to upload more this weekend till I upload more highlights soon. Uh, I think you guys will love these so uh, especially this video is gonna be a special video and it's gonna be very helpful for most of the guys that really like to get advantages in the game and that wants to change something without overthinking a lot all right so this video is gonna be a tip uh, on how on I mean what to turn on or off on Apex Legends controller settings that will give you a huge advantage in your gameplay not just a huge there's some tiny advantages and there are some huge advantages and I'm gonna go one by one each one what the advantages of it and how it's gonna help you with the game so before we start with this guys I just need to announce you that there will be another winner for the training center hopefully this week uh, if you guys don't know what training center is it's just basically we are training people that are supporting this channel let me go straight without wasting of your time guys so this is video this video is gonna be uh, for control players and of course there are some uh, for not controllers so let's go to the gameplay here the, the gameplay settings on apex Legends. Uh, there are some things that you can actually turn on to get a more advantage or better experience which is the crosshair damage feedback now a lot of people on the default is gonna be x with the shield icon all right so the advantage of turning it X is gonna be huge. So I'm gonna mention some two advantages in this one. You either turn it off, you either turn it X. Don't turn it X with shield icon, trust me. So if you have it on X, basically you're gonna have only that X that appears when you shoot. And when you have it X with shield icon, there's a shield icon gonna appear on the enemy, but it's gonna be a little bit distractive. So that's why I recommend to you guys to turn this on X if you like the X. Now there's also an advantage on off which is gonna make you feel and know what each bullet you hit but personally guys I prefer X. I think X for me is gonna just tell you where the bullets or where your aim is going exactly and because some people have OCD like I do I like X alright and it, it just helps you better to just uh, follow the target more. So basically it's up to you you either turn it off or X I just leave it on X guys. Like if you if you play already with actual shield icon then leave it on X. It's just it's just better than the one that is turned right here uh, that I've seen. Now other advantages of this here, uh, this stacking, you don't really need to change anything at all. You really don't need to touch with this. Now other advantages that we don't need to talk about is the auto sprint. Auto sprint is usually turned off. Now if you turn it on, you're gonna just keep running without pressing your analog. And this is very very good and very helpful because basically if you have it on off, the analog might be worse it's gonna be probably broken by time the controller is gonna be broken by time i have my controller for like two years and i still don't have any single problem with it so basically if you have it on on it's gonna help you a lot on just running without holding the analog and also it's gonna be very helpful in middle of the fights you don't need to press the analog to run in the middle of the fight you don't need to do anything just just push it all the way up and it's gonna keep running and this is also a very very good advantage that i did on season 5 and i will never switch this off anymore like i'm telling you that these things i'm mentioning here i don't like to change them at all now the other thing that we need to talk about the advantages here is the incoming damage feedback now this is a very tiny advantage it's not really big it's not a huge i usually play on 2d the 2d is an advantage compared to 3d because 3d is gonna be more distracting on the screen so I've been using 2d for the whole time now as you see on my setting I already use 3d right here in the new days it's just because I want a change I want to try a change and it doesn't really affect me that much but there's a tiny advantage that I noticed on TD which will make you the enemies I mean the bullets that you get are less distractive so any hits you get from any enemy is gonna be less distractive on the screen so I prefer 2d so if you want this tiny advantage that that is very very small and it, you just want to try it then try on 2d and tell me how you experience with it 
Now let's go straight into the other advantages that we need to mention. Uh, it's gonna be on controller settings. Before we go to the controller, let's go to the video settings, all right? So in the video settings, the also advantage that we need to talk about that you have to turn on and off is basically everything here that you have uh, should be set to low. If you're on PC, everything should be set to low or none because basically if you have this on low or none, not just not just the vision is gonna be worse, but you will have a very good input lag. So it's gonna be less input lag if you have this on low. So basically, if you have this on low, you're gonna the aim and the movement and everything is gonna feel much faster, more responsive. So basically, turning this off is also an advantage for you. Now, turning on the advantage, another thing here: sprint view shake and FOV ability scaling. You have to enable and minima minimize this. Minimal this. Uh, minimal sprint view shake is just also an advantage because once you run on normal, it's gonna feel like the screen is shaking all over the place so minimal is just it it's also a tiny advantage but it is helpful it is more than tiny more than tiny a little bit so it is helpful it is a big advantage uh, that you can try now let's go to the controller settings talking about button layout the button layout is a big big advantage that you must change and must turn on uh, we basically not gonna mention this because it's not a turn on setting or turn off it's gonna be something that you need to adjust so basically you can pick whatever you guys want but we don't need to talk about it really much now crouch butter on toggle the advantage on hold is gonna be very big but it's gonna be hard so i will also skip this part and i will not talk about it now trigger that's on here the advantage on turning it none this is the one that we need to talk about trigger dead zones must be turned none no, nothing we need to talk about here. It, it should be none, all right? Trigger dead zone should be none because having no dead zone on triggers is just better. It's gonna be more responsive for what you do on the analog. Uh, I mean, what you do on the controller, how it will affect on the screen, how fast it will be. So basically, turning dead zone should be none. This is also an advantage to turn off. Uh, the big advantage right here on vibration is turn off. This is a big advantage. This is not small, not tiny, not at all. This is a big advantage that you have to turn off vibration because turning off vibration is gonna help you to focus more on your muscle memory, to add, to, add, uh, to understand the muscle memory more. If you have it on on, the muscle memory is gonna be a little bit racked, even though it feels good. Like I'm not gonna lie, like once I play with vibration, it does feel good when I shoot. But the muscle memory is gonna be fucked a little bit. So I really recommend for you guys to have this on off, which will feel very be better. Uh, control the recall and everything is gonna feel 10 times better than what it is on on. So yeah, we finished with all this. Now, if you want to jump on ALC, there's nothing really much. Just by saying turning on ALC is gonna feel better if you just mess with these and help. Uh, to create your own settings. So ALCs compared to default settings, I tell you the advantage on ALCs is huge. So turning on ALCs is gonna be a huge advantage. If you don't know how to make an advanced uh, advanced look controls, I have a video for it already to help you how to make ALC, how to make advanced look controls. So basically, this is it for the video today, guys. I'm just telling you the advantage, what to turn on and turn off, and uh, these gonna be very helpful if you guys are new to the game or we've been playing the game for the whole time and you have something that is messed up and you don't, can't figure it out so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one peace out